the choices that you make again will influence the future. So we are, in a way, makers of our own destiny. So in order to make right decisions, I have to be above the influences of desires. Namaste everyone. We're going to talk today about freedom of choice. I would like you to ponder over this statement that you are the experiment, you are the experimenter, and you are the outcome. How will you use your laboratory? What is your laboratory? Where is it? It's your heart. In the heart, we conduct this experiment. What do we associate this word choice with? For most of us, it is a decision that we have to make between one option and another option. Or you may be in a frustrating situation where you have multiple options that you know, calls on you to make a quick decision. In order to be able to do this, there is a notion that we need to be independent to be able to make an appropriate choice. Of course, but are you really, really independent in making such appropriate choices? We like to believe that I am free or we are free or independent to make that particular choice and come to a right decision. Look at another scenario. Not only are we more in trouble when we have to choose, but we are also distressed when we are trying to make a choice. And especially when the situation where we have to make a vital choice, we really get frustrated with all that. What if I make a wrong choice? For example, decision to marry someone. or starting a new business where you have multiple opportunities or you have job offers. How will you make those choices? All these aspects of making choices are related to how does your heart feel. So <clears throat> let's think over the choices we have made in the past when we did not listen to our heart and the kind of choices we made, you'll be happy that yes, whenever I have used my heart, my results were good. Whenever I did not listen to my heart and acted impulsively, I had to regret. So the need to still our heart, make it calm, make it like a still pond, quiet pond, calm pond, on which surface you can see it's subtlest of ripples. Our heart is also like that, see. If you have a turbulent heart, you won't be able to make a, a really worthwhile decision. Even when you are at the peak of a game and you're playing, for example, a basketball or a football, it's quite hectic. Mentally, you are very hectic. But if you, are a, if you have a meditative mind, despite of chaos, your inner will remain very poised. And when ego plays its part, you have seen this with your boss or with your spouse, perhaps at, at times, or some unknown person with a lot of arrogance. Mm -hmm. You can see unjust prevailing there, see. And you say, why? what sort of decisions are they making? Such wrong decisions are made under the spell of arrogance. Arrogance is again another face of egoism. Desires can tamper with our decision making. Decision making is very important, especially to know what is right what is wrong, what is profitable, what is not so profitable, which course of action should I take that can help me get out of this stress. 
these are all matters of the heart more and more you pursue with logic we will fail somehow the future that i am making will depend upon my action my decisions that i make today in the here and now so destiny just like you know what they call in genetics is genetics pakka 100% rigid no i don't think so physically to a large extent genetics plays out but there is still a factor what we call epigenome which is more flexible it can be influenced it can be trained at a mental level father may be a farmer may be a murderer perhaps but you can change the freedom that you enjoy at a mental level and spiritually the dna of some scars may not have so much of force upon our destiny because we also have this equivalent to epigenome freedom of choice you have a choice to act in certain way you can deny certain decisions in, with with respect and you need not apply those things in the day to day life the choices that you make again will influence the future so we are in a way makers of our own destiny so in order to make right decisions i have to be above the influences of desires i should be above this arrogance 